So here's something most people don't know about me. When I started studying artificial intelligence, I had zero background in tech. I didn't know how to code, I didn't know what a terminal was, and I sucked at math. I just thought, okay, artificial intelligence is the future, right? So let's study that. And to be honest, the first months of university were awful. I just felt completely out of place. It was like everyone around me spoke a different language than me, and I just couldn't understand what they were saying. I really remember sitting in classes and thinking, it's not for me. But I pushed through and slowly it started to click. After about a year, something shifted. I wasn't just understanding AI anymore. I was building things, like actual things. Apps, tools, systems. And that's when I noticed something that would eventually change everything. Because what I was building, businesses would actually pay money for. Not in theory, not like someday in the future they might pay me money for something. I felt it right right now and I was just a student still learning and I was already creating things for myself in my free time that had actual value but here's what was strange the stuff that I was building I didn't learn that in class I learned it from YouTube from people actually doing the work I learned it from experimenting on my own while university was teaching me the fundamentals the theory the proper way to do machine learning but outside of these walls something was happening large language models were becoming better and better and in a fast pace. And almost nobody on university was talking about it. Like it didn't actually happen. I started feeling this disconnect. Like I was being prepared for a world that was already slowly disappearing. And then came the internship. We had a group project, five people. And I'm not saying this to brag, but I carried the whole project. And I'm saying this because you need to understand it. I carried it, not because the others were lazy, but because I had learned things they didn't. These were all things that they didn't learn in university. I built something using large language models, something that was practical, something that was working. And the company, they loved it. And they didn't just love it. They asked me to come back for the summer. They actually wanted to hire me. Me, a student who felt completely out of place just two years earlier. So I went back to university and I told the professors what happened. I told them about the project, about the company wanting to hire me and about what I built. You know what they said? That's not actually what we teach here. And in that exact moment, something just broke. Large language models were not something that we were learning in university. So when I used that for a project, they were like, it's not what we do here. But I had just built something a business actually wanted to pay for that solved a real problem. And that actually got me a job offer. And their response was, that's not what we teach here. And that's exactly when I realized that I was learning more from a YouTuber Shout out to Dave, a university that was supposed to be preparing me for the AI industry. So a few months later, I was in the Philippines on a holiday with my girlfriend. And I remember this moment so well. We were sitting on a rooftop bar and just talking about what I wanted in life. Okay, next coming years, what is the game plan? What we are going to do? Are we on the same page? But this internship was still in my head. I wasn't quite happy with it. I was just putting so much time into university for things that actually didn't really matter to me. Like I wasn't gonna be some researcher like making these new large language models. I just wanted to have a business. That has always been my dream. And that's exactly when I said it out loud for the first time. I think I should drop out. Not because I was failing. Like I didn't get these A grades, but I was doing fine. But it was because I saw what was happening. I saw back then how fast AI was moving. I saw how many businesses had no idea what to do with it. I saw a window opening and I knew that window wouldn't stay open forever. And that's when I said, I would rather try and fail than never try. And if it doesn't work out, I can just go back to university. I can get a regular job. Like my backup plan is actually the normal dream life plan for a lot of people. I had nothing to lose, but this moment, this opportunity, this might not come again. So we came home from the Philippines and I told my dad and he said exactly what any parent would say. Just finish, 
you're so close one more year and you have your degree and he wasn't wrong like don't get me wrong he was right it was one year i was so close to having this piece of paper but i just couldn't do it every day that i spent in that classroom was a day i wasn't building i wasn't learning what actually mattered i wasn't going after the thing that i knew i was supposed to do i saw the opportunities i saw how few people understood what ai could actually do i saw that the people who were winning were not the ones with a degree they were the ones that just started and I could not let it slip so I dropped out so the first thing that I did was freelance I took everything that I have learned in the last few years and I started helping businesses building AI tools creating systems solving real problems and it worked and people paid me pretty good money but what I loved most was building from scratch taking an idea and making it into reality making something real of it I started building building apps, SaaS products, MVPs, and that's when I started this YouTube channel. I wanted to do what that YouTuber did for me. Show people what is actually possible. No overcomplicating, no gatekeeping, just here's what AI can do, here is how to use it, and here is how to build something today. Because that is exactly what university never gave me. They gave me theory, they gave me fundamentals, but they never showed me how to build something that actually matters. So. It has been two years since I dropped out. And I need to tell you something. There has never been a single moment where I regretted it. Not one. Not when things were hard. Not when I didn't know if things would actually work out. And not when people asked me why I didn't just finish my degree. Because I knew I made the right choice. I am not telling you to drop out of school. That is not the point of this video. The point is this. When you see an opportunity, a real one, and you feel it in your gut, don't let the safe path talk you out of it. Everyone will have opinions. Your parents, your friends, society. Everyone will have opinions, always. They will tell you to play it safe. Finish the degree, get the job, and follow the path. But that path, it was built for a world that doesn't exist anymore. The world is changing fast, and the people who win are not the ones who wait for permission. They are the ones who see the window opening and jump through it. And to be honest, the window just opened and it will stay open, but not for too long. So make sure to follow your gut feeling. Kid, who cares? Just go for it.